Hello and welcome to part two of our unfair attempt number two. So I guess this is attempt two, part two. We made it to floor seven last time. Pretty good progress. Let's jump back into it. Uh, very quickly, we can look at our party and we've got two, uh, I'm sorry, three upgraded heroes. Two that are still at tier one. And we've picked up two items. I really like the blessed water. And I really like this spell that we haven't used it yet used the blessed water a couple of times already. The reason I like the blessed water is just to recap our curses. Mortal, uh, max 10. This won't have a huge impact on the run, but it definitely limits the game winning combos that we can use to beat the final boss. So we, even though it doesn't seem like it impacts the game until much later, we do need to start thinking about it earlier than it seems we do. For now, I don't think it matters too much. Probably our first tier three hero pick is when we really start to consider, all right, we need to find a way to win without comboing up something above 10 pips. Um, osteoporosis is a very flat impact. There's not, we, not much we can do to play around it, and it doesn't show up till later. Um, and then finally, this is the big one. This is the one that is warping every decision that we've made so far, um, both meta decision and in-game decision. It's a pretty big deficit, but we've been able to make it do okay because all of our heroes we've chosen so that they don't have a lot of blanks or useless sides. All of the sides are similarly useful. Whirl, Rogue, Knight, those are the ones we've chosen. <clears throat> Let's see what this item is. Three of a kind. It seems really bad because it's hard to manipulate with such limited roles enough of the same number to match up with someone's three of a kind. Uh, it has to have the same value as the previously two used dice this turn. That seems bad. Blood Child, self shield for uh self shield one for each wasted point of healing you receive. This isn't bad because the acolyte currently has these sides that overheal people, so these can turn into shield one cleaves instead of heal one cleaves. I don't know why I would care about that a ton, other than the fact that it's like technically benefit. Um, I am going to replace the hero soon. It makes medic nicer. It makes medic quite a bit nicer, actually, because all of these heal, so these can all turn into shields. So that's a pretty big deal on medic, but my top picks, well, it's a pretty big deal on Fey. These all heal, and sometimes we'll be healing people at full life. So, maybe I'm talking myself into this. Druid has a heal that can overheal. Herbalist has a heal that can overheal a couple of them. And Vampire can overheal herself. Ooh, and heal five. Wow. So, I, okay, I just looked at every tier two red that I want to pick, and all of them benefit from Blood Chalice. Well, we wouldn't put the Blood Chalice on them necessarily. That's a tricky thing. It's hard to know who to put the Blood Chalice on. Or we could roll for a random three. So we look at threes. Scalpel is insane on Fey. Glass Blade is good in general. Unholy Strength is sketchy. But maybe good in this build. Uh, Faint Halo is kind of cool. Actually, this is pretty cool. There are a lot, I, I can't afford to look at everyone and evaluate them, but something, this one, it popped out at me as having a specific synergy with the heavy dice. We're not likely to be rolling into these anyway. So six max HP, if we assume that these have an average like three, which is probably not true, it's probably they have less than that, but even if we assume that they have an average value of three, um, the amount of time it would take for us to, yeah, it, the amount of time it would take for us to take enough damage from the pain to make pocket phylactery not worth it would be, on average, nine turns or something like that, if we're never rerolling the dice. Um, I think I'm just going to take the blood chalice, though. Mm, rolling is so attractive. How many unlocks do we have left? Five? Or, like, reveals, not unlocks, but we can reveal these. Um, shield 7 heavy is pretty bad. 
Maybe I should just do an analysis of like yes or no, like better or worse than Blood Chalice. Better, better, worse? Question mark. If I'm not sure, I'll just skip it. So we've got two better. I'm gonna call it better. Better. Way better. Holy cow, I forgot about that one. Probably better. Worse. Well, but we can't see this one. Probably worse. Hmm. Probably worse, but it's close. Whenever you save a hero. Probably worse in the short run and maybe better in the long run. Worse. Worse. Yeah, that one was worse. Um, this one is worse. I don't know what this one does. Better, I think. I think that's actually quite a bit better. I think it's better. I think it's better. I think that I said better more times than I said worse. Here's Unholy Strength. Let's see if it's actually better. <clears throat> Immune to shields and healing. Well, it's really good on the rogue. It's actually pretty good on the initiate too. But I'm going to put it on the rogue because the rogue is less likely to want the shield or healing. Really good on the rogue. Okay. Not punished. Um, the edge heroes are not that likely to be attacked, um, because cleave attacks don't always hit them. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, well this is good. Yeah, we'll just reroll the Acolyte for now. The steel is pretty good, but we can get to it later. Let's just re-roll the Acolyte for something useful. Okay, that's useful. So now we're gonna look for something better on the Knight, I think. Uh-oh. Nice, 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 nice. Um, this is good because... <laughs> we get to kill two snakes. <laughs> Help the world out a bit. Okay. Looking pretty good. <clears throat> Knight is exerted, but that's okay. Oh, three damage is sick. I wasn't sure what that was. It was being blocked by this little deal here. Keep that. Keep that. Let's look for something good on the initiate. Ooh. That's cute. We got an X. Which we could just keep three plus two. I guess we keep it because it's worth two energy because of gather. So strange. Um, and the nice thing is now we can reroll the rogue actually, because the rogue has way better size than this. Yep. So we can kill whomever we want. I guess we'll kill the one attacking the rogue. Well, actually, we can do this a little bit better. We'll gather, grab our mana, burst. Oh, it's just lethal. <coughs> All right, here comes the herbalist, and I hate the jester. So this is a no-brainer. We talked about last time our tier 2 options for mage and, and healer, and we like almost all of them for the healer and almost none of them for the mage. Well, we just haven't seen very many for the mage. We skipped Maiko, but I hate this one, hate this one, hate this one, hate this one, and hate this one. So, it's like a pretty big gap with this heavy dice, how much better Caldera and Glacia are than the others. I tend to favor Caldera and Glacia already, but with this particular curse, heavy dice, they're actually way better than the others. So we pick Herbalist. Not much to talk about here. I will say Herbalist is a great pick, though. She she works really well with, with heavy dice, because all of these are are pretty nice. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Yeah, 
Um, it's the herbalist. Ooh, what's her spell? Oh, vine. Vine is awesome. I love vine. I mean, it's it's just like a same thing as burst, but there are some combos with it later. Like every time you cast a spell, deal one damage to the top enemy, and you can just cast vine over and over and over and over. Um, I think we're gonna keep this on the rogue though. It's pretty good on the herbalist. Um, it doesn't impact this though. It doesn't impact this though. Hmm. It's kind of similar in that way. Put this on the knight actually, because he's most likely to survive for the longest. Um, do we want the initiate to have the two hearts? Or the world to have the two hearts? This is interesting. A lot of times in this game, you want characters, like something nice about a vitality side like this, is you can give a character a new way to be effective that they normally aren't able to be. Because then, if it looks like what they normally do is not going to be that good this turn, you can look for this new unusual thing that they can do, rather than putting... So for example, if you had a character that had five whirlwinds, in a blank, and a character that had five vitalities in a blank, it's way better to put this extra vitality on the one with all of the whirlwinds, because if you don't want vitality that turn, then you just like keep the whirlwinds like you normally do. But if you really want vitality that turn, you can you can look for it. You can look for it aggressively on the whirl and get it twice. Get it on the whirl and on the other person who has five vitalities already. The reason, so that's normally how Slice and Dice plays, and so this would be great on the world. In this situation, I don't get to re-roll stuff very much. So I want my characters to be very specialized, so I have a reasonable expectation <coughs> as to what they're going to get me each turn in order to optimize my output every turn. Um, so I'm going to put it on the initiate. I could put it on the knight instead. But I'm going to put it on the initiate. We talked about the difference between knight and initiate getting that holy water last time, and I don't know if there's anything that's changed too much here. This is cool. We can grow the poison. That's really cool, actually. I guess I want the 3 damage side, or at least the 1 damage side, right? So we'll at least re-roll re -roll this until we get 1 damage. And I'm just now realizing that Knight is dying. 9 damage attack, Slime Queen? That's really rude. So I think we're going to re-roll the Herbalist next. But I think I keep re-rolling this? Why? Why do I keep re-rolling this? Because one damage is so much better than one shield? No, it's not. One shield does almost nothing, but one damage does almost nothing. <coughs> Whereas... Um, poison is better than this. Heal slash regen is not. Heal slash regen sucks. Oh. So half the time this is the same. But the mana is good. The same or worse, by the way. The... Uh, maybe we reroll the knight for to shield himself. Yeah, that's got to be the play. Okay. I really like the exert. It excited me. It's a good side, but... Okay. Three shields enough. Now who do we start rerolling? The herbalist? The rogue? Poison's pretty good. I guess the whirl can start rerolling again. Look for a damage instead of a shield. Dang it, whirl! You had one job. I rerolled whirl twice, and he hit. Whirl showed me three sides. Two of them were X's. It's pretty annoying. Okay, well, we're gonna grow the poison. 
block ourselves, grab an energy. And, and the knight's in the middle, so he's guaranteed to get hit by our cleave attacks. This is really a rude that it worked out this way. But we can save the knight again. Can we get her down to... 6? Because then this would kill her. We would need to deal 5 damage. Yes, we can. <coughs> but it might mean lose. No, it doesn't mean losing the knight because we kill the Slime Queen. That's awesome. Okay, and then we can put poison on a uh, new slime. Cool. And then reroll world to look for damage. What the heck, world? Whirl! Oh my gosh, the world has shown me six sides. And it's been these two every time. Unbelievable. Fortunately, it doesn't matter. I mean, kind of played around it here. Yep, six. <clears throat> okay, we need to save the knight again. We have a couple of X's. Definitely want to reroll this, because this does nothing, and there are a lot of good options. So... This kind of makes a lot of sense to just send this. Gather, grab the mana, block these guys. So we can just kill this Slimer with 2 plus 3. Or this one with 2 plus 2 plus 3. I guess we should kill this one. Because the poison's still ticking on that one. Okay, two slimelets rolled. Ooh, take that. Keep this, keep this. Keep all this. We rolled the initiate. Doesn't really do anything, but I think we'd have lethal. Or at least, uh, lethal enough. Yep, slimelets are dead. Probably. They didn't do anything, so it doesn't matter. Let's reroll the rogue, because they have the most damage sides. Technically not lethal, so we'll keep rolling, looking for lethal. Still not lethal. Oh, Vine. Haha! -ha. I forgot about Vine. <coughs> okay. Replace blank sides with four damage this turn. Wow! That's a lot like Initiate. Or the spell that Initiate has. Which is going to go away next floor. So... That's a cool replacement. To combo with the Exert from the Knight. The problem is I just don't have a lot of X's. I don't. I have, I have very few X's. I'm playing around having X's because of how bad X's are. But this becomes like 2 energy for 4 damage. Forever. For the rest of the game. 2 mana for 4 damage. Anytime I have an X. Which is going to happen sometimes. Sometimes I'll have two X's. I have these. I have a single use side here. I have an X here. Um, I have a lot of mages that I could get stuck with that will have X sides. So I'm digging this. I like this a lot. Put it on the knight. He has both of our spells. So we definitely want to keep him alive. Both of our item spells, I should say. Okay, Sniper, three imps, and a quartz. Kind of a scary fight. I think the difficulty just ramped up significantly. Yeah, because we just got done with a boss fight, I guess? That was a boss fight? I guess it was. It didn't seem like a boss fight. Oh yeah, Slime Queen. Of course it was a boss fight. I was, I was trying to remember who we literally just fought. I had already forgotten, which is kind of funny. 
Um, anyway, the question is... Yeah, no, there's no question. This is still way, way the best on the rogue. And then the vial doesn't matter so much. <coughs> um, mana's good. Poison is good. Is it possible to kill the quartz this turn? Cleave is okay. I'm a little worried about... Shield is okay, but exert would one, two, three help me kill the quartz. One mana does so little, but I'm so likely to get one mana again if I just start rerolling the initiate. So I think I start rerolling the knight. Look for exert. That's four damage right there with the herbalist. So I reroll the rogue. Not bad. I like that. I'm happy to take the damage right now, too. Okay. Okay. So we grab this. We make this deal four damage. We punch here. We kill the quartz. And we lose the initiate. Yep. Not much we can do about that. They're at four health and they're taking eight here, and four of it's from a sniper. It'd be really hard to save them. <clears throat> I'm okay with this outcome. I think it wins us the fight. It's a little, it's like a little aggressive. wins me the fight. Initiate comes back. Uh, I don't like these. I really don't like these. So I guess a lot of what we're choosing here has to do with the spell we see. This is worse than... Like, it costs 3 energy, but if we have... Uh, I don't like this at all. All of these sides are bad. On turn one. I think we take the seer. Oh gosh. I'm really sad. I was actually wrong. We got to look at three. I remember, I think it was last episode I was talking about the number of people we get to look at to try and find Caldera and Glacia. And I said it was we get to look at two people out of seven choices. And two of and we want. So, so basically, yeah, and, and we want to find two. We actually get to look at three, because this last choice shows us two mages. So the three that we were shown were Jester, Seer, and Sparky. We saw Maiko earlier, it skipped him. So from the position we were in when we were considering how likely it was to see a better mage, <coughs> I think this is when we were looking at the Maiko, because I'm like, Maiko is better than these four. If we skip Maiko, but he's like way, way worse than these two. And like marginally better than these four. Fiend, Seer, Sparky, Jester, Evoker. So the decision to skip Maiko comes down to how likely it is that you get to see two specific choices out of seven outcomes when you get to look at... I was thinking that you get to look at two mages, but you actually get to look at three. So if you get to look at three ma mages, the chances that you miss seeing Glacia and Caldera, you have to lose, you, you have to hit uh, one, two, three, two, three, four, five. 
you have to hit a 5 and 7, a 4 and 6, and a 3 and 5. So 5 times 4 times 3. The 5s cancel out. So 4 times 3 over 6 times 7. Um, so 12, 2 over 7. Okay, so it was like a 25% chance. I don't know if I did that math right. Um, it was a 25% chance, if we skip the Maiko, that we get punished. And the reward for skipping the Maiko was is way higher than the expected. Yeah, the expected value was correct. We made the right decision when we skipped Maiko. We just got unlucky. We hit the 25 percenter that we don't get to see Caldera or Glacia. It happens. Um, definitely want to put this on Seer because he has so few good sides. Um, it's not even the end of the world. We can still hit some other like high rolls where the next tier 3 hero we see could be a mage. And then we can just take a mage that's better than Seer. But I really don't like the Seer. So Wizard is great. Um... Artificer is very strange. Don't know how to evaluate that one. I don't like Warlock. I don't really like Weaver either. I think... Oh, I don't like Kronos either. Uh-oh. Our mages are just bad. Dang, I would have liked to take Glacia and Caldera and hold on them to them until like 418 or something. And that looks like we won't have that option. Okay, this is great. This is great. This is great. I don't know what I'm looking for here. I guess I should take the shield? No, we can kill bones pretty easily. So we look for the exert. Sure. Let's just keep looking. Oh, we got the exert. Now what do I roll? Nothing? It's my turn is just so effective. Oh my gosh, Vine just destroys this floor. Oh, Fairy Pact is so good. Four mana to replace... A bad side. We have a lot of blanks. This is what I wanted to look at. We have a lot of blanks. Put it on the world, put it on the knight. I think it's better on the knight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six max HP on the herb list. One, two, three, four, five on the knight. This idol is actually pretty good too. And losing the max HP actually kind of sucks. Maybe it's maybe it's idol of Churtskis. 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 There are intentionally no vowels here, so it's hard to pronounce. Churtskis. 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 I think it's Churtskis. 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 Um, this is tough. I think mm, the minus 4 HP is pretty bad. Um, so one thing about heavy dice is that you want to... Like, your variance is kind of gets expanded compared to what it normally would be. You can reduce your variance by being able to re-roll on the specific outcomes, and so your variance is way smaller um, if you have a lot of re-rolls. So we've expanded our variance big time with heavy dice. So, one goal of this run is to shrink that variance once more. And there are a few ways to do it. The way we've primarily been focusing on is just getting rid of, like, minimizing the number of X's we have on our heroes. Just choosing non-X heroes as much as we can. This gets rid of another X by putting it on the Knight or the World. However, it's also just a good size. So it doesn't just get rid of an X, but it gives us, like, more output. So it reduces variance and increases output, which is what we want. However, there's another way to smooth variance. There's another way to shrink your variance and to smooth over outcomes, and that's to have a lot of health. This 
gives us plus six health on the herbalist. This gives us minus four health on the knight or the whirl. So that's an impact of 10 HP difference. We're losing out on 10 health to take Fairy Pact, which expands our variance significantly because now that's 10 less health that we have wiggle room on for when enemy attacks go bad. The other thing is, there are a few things. Reducing X's is not always strictly a positive because we have um, this spell. So actually, rolling a bunch of X's can be an out. To deal a ton of damage. <coughs> so I'm going to take the, the health and put it on the Herbalist, who will now have plus H-R-B-L-S-T. Am I missing something here? Each consonant in your name. One, two, three. Oh no! Mortal, mortal plus plus. Okay, we may have made a mistake here. Yeah, this is not gonna play in the late game. It's only three HP instead of six. Ah, that's a bummer. Everyone has 7 HP. Well, it can go on like... Uh, I was going to say... Oh, well, okay, our tier 3 heroes... <coughs> this isn't so bad. Our tier 3... Our other, our other problem is osteoporosis. Our tier 3 heroes have minus 2 max HP. So I do believe that this will be able to help out a lot. Um, for now, let's put it on the... I guess we'll just put it on the rogue, who's our best character. Even though they only have two consonants, that's so funny. Um, but we can't heal them also, and they're our best character right now because of... because we can't heal them, because we put unholy strength on them. Okay. This is cool. Um... We can kill Zombie with uh, Hack, although we just dealt two damage to him, so it saves four damage necessary to kill him. So maybe we don't do that. We keep this for sure. Just re-roll the, the Knight into something that does something. <clears throat> now we can re-roll the Herbalist into something that does something. Um, like, 8 damage is not so hard to do. Roll the Herbalist. Looking for mana. Yeah, got mana, which is nice. Now we re-roll the Seer? The Rogue? I have no idea. This is the only one we definitely keep. I think we also definitely keep this one. Love to kill the zombie this turn. How do we do that? I mean, we need 8 damage, right? So this is 5, 6, 7, 8. We have it. So for the Seer, we just look for either more mana. Yeah, I think we re-roll the Seer. It's a little unfortunate. Um, oh, and then we can just foretell. Just bank a mana for next turn. That's cool. Seer's not a terrible character in general. I think he is pretty bad with this 
set of characters. Um, okay. Can we kill the Banshee this turn? Well, that's four damage. Yeah, it seems like we're gonna get there. But let's look for something better on everyone. Oh, right. <laughs> I almost forgot my um, main downside. I just wanted to reroll everything. What a luxury. One mana is one damage. But a blank is four damage. And three mana is three damage. So I'm going to reroll Seer again. Nice, we got a blank. So now we're going to roll Rogue for an improvement. If we're trying to kill her before she kills the knight, this is one damage, whereas our other options are two, three, or more damage. So let's reroll this. Nice. This should be lethal. This is a ton of damage because of hack. Hack is really cool, man. Maybe Seer's not so bad with hack. Use the three mana on turn one, bank it for the following turn, roll an X on the following turn with the knight, and then come in with eight damage. Really cool. <clears throat> okay. Do as I'm doing. Um, follow, follow, follow me. That's the leader. Leader and follower. Follow, follow. That's why that popped into my head. Um, Dancer seems terrible. Gain one reroll is really bad. These cantrips are okay. Oh, let's well, gain one reroll, but you can give everything plus one in that. Oh. Plus one on this side is very interesting. Plus one to everything is fine on Whirl. Yeah, Whirl probably gets the uh, the Cursed, the Unholy Strength next, if we swap out the Dancer. What tier 3s are we looking for, and what tier... Th what what oranges and yellows? There's the Dabalists. It's not that exciting. The Assassin, not very exciting. The Dabalist is nice because of like the consistency thing, like, he never misses. We're looking at the Dancer. The Fencer is pretty good with Unholy Strength. It's actually very good with Unholy Strength. The Sharp Shot, the Ludus, and the Venom. The Barbarian only has 10 health, keep in mind. The Brawler, I'm looking at the Leader, the Veteran. So something to think about the leader is if someone has really good keywords on their sides and it's good to buff it by two, Smith can be really powerful. The Bash and the Curator. I'm leaning towards the leader. What would the leader copy? You could copy the Rogue's Cruel. That's plus, that's a three Cruel. He could copy uh, not that much. I guess he could copy a 4 damage side that an X has turned into. That's kind of cool. Duplicate. He's kind of a simple choice, but I like him. I like him. 3 damage and 3 damage is pretty nice. We lose out on some AoE, but honestly, these whirls... This cle these cleaves haven't been that important? Maybe I'm underestimating the impact that they've had. Dancer, huh? I just think that the reroll is not good enough, even if we give it plus one from the Unholy Strength. And we give this plus one from the Unholy Strength. It's like, man, that's, a, that's quite the combo. But maybe just Rogue is better at the two damage on the cantrips. And then the three damage cruel. Seems more powerful. I think it does. I think it seems more powerful than the dancer. Ah, but the other tier three rogues seem kind of bad to me. But so do the other tier three um, yellows. Because the leader has eight health. 
instead of 12 or 11. Smith. Hmm. This is a hard, hard decision. I feel like it might be an important decision too. That's why I'm kind of like uh, analysis locking myself on this question right now. This is going to get better. I think that even though it's okay right now, it's going to be way better later. I think I should take the leader. Oh. <coughs> actually, osteoporosis means that Berserk Barbarian actually does not lose value from the mortal curse because he'll be at 10. Leader's only at 6. Actually, he loses health. So does the rogue. No, the rogue has this on right now. Dancer has the same amount of health. Dancer has a lot of health. That's kind of cool. Dancer seems like one of the best tier threes. But I don't know. I'd be happy with almost any of these. They're all so similar. That's a big complaint I have about the tier three oranges. Is like, look how similar these two are. Two bows and cool. Three bows. Poison versus a uh, headshot. A copycat versus well, yeah, a copycat versus a dodge. This has a, uh, Fencer has a dodge, Dancer has a dodge, Assassin has a dodge. <coughs> They're all pretty similar. Venom. This could be, hmm. Total poison on all characters. Venom actually is really good. This might be my top pick. I'm going to go leader and hope that I get to see Venom later. And if I don't get to see Venom later, it's like, Fencer's pretty similar to Dancer. Assassin's pretty similar to Dancer. They all have a dodge. They all have some interesting output mechanics. Sharp Shot's pretty similar. So I'm going to take the leader. I'm going to keep all my items in the same spot. Um, and we're going to wrap up this floor because we're going a little bit long on the video link. We want to give leader the healing. I don't think we do. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Interesting. Got a poison on the herbalist to begin. Knight's getting punched pretty hard. Doesn't seem easy to save them without using their shield side. So maybe we roll for that. Okay, they got a shield side. What does the rogue want to do? Anything besides dodge? Dodge is just pretty weak here. Um, yeah. What am I using twice? Um, uh, the, the seer side actually is great to use twice because of growth. Okay. Nice. Just roll that again. Okay. Poison the Baron. I think I want to use this twice. <laughs> then bank the mana. Okay, let's just, yeah. Let's try this. We're not popping either ghost, but I think that might be okay. I think we're going to have a lot of mana next turn. Everyone's dying. 
Not good. We roll the rogue? For what? I mean, we roll the knight for what? This is kind of like four damage. It's kind of like two damage, actually. I think that's the better way to look at it. We have so much da Oh, but it can kill a ghost because it's four damage all in one. That's really nice, actually. Okay. I'm gonna keep it for that reason. Keep the. Reroll the leader as a. Really? Yeah, because everything is better than this. The smith is great, kills a ghost, yeah. Reroll the leader. The blank is great. That's not good. That's the only one I don't want. Okay, 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 okay. I think this is a win. Because these kill the ghosts. And then we smash the Baron to death. Just with our mana. Yep. Awesome. Awesome floor. Get wrecked. Boom! Okay, we made it to level 13. We're gonna we're gonna stop there. Um Thank you for, for joining us and We'll see if this is n not uh, as slow. Maybe we can s do more than one level per episode for this run. This run's quite a bit faster because, um, I don't know, just more damage output. We're way less controlly. We've got a lot of mana options, a lot of aggressive options. It's pretty sweet. Um, our items, in particular, Unholy Strength, as well as this spell is really aggressive. It's a cool spell. I'm so glad we picked this. All right, and we'll we'll see you next time.